So this flag, that's the old flag of, uh, of Persia, because the Bible says there's coming someone who's from, he's going to be called the lion of the tribe of Judah. And I noticed that you have a lion, and he's going to be the king yeah, yeah. of all kings. I noticed you have a crown, and it says, uh, when the son of righteousness with healing in his wings will rise up. Yeah. All of those symbols are in your flag. And so I wonder whether long ago, the people of Persia who believed in the God of the Bible, they were telling everybody that Jesus, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the son with healing in his wings, will be king of kings, will come and liberate the people of Persia. Judgment is coming. Judgment is coming. Judgment is coming on the land. So what's going on in Iran is that uh, many people are being thrown into jail simply for wanting rights, um, not wearing the hijab regularly. Um, so, I mean, so, yeah, so you're having protests like this all around the world. Okay. Uh, in 1979, uh, the, 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 the government of the time uh, were, were thrown off by, by what is it called, Shah. Okay. Overthrown by, by the Ayatollah. Okay. And then from the same day, the first day that Ayatollah came to the country, uh, the blood, the massacre, and the terror started to be happening since 1979 until 1988. So you're, Millions telling, of you're telling me that ever since the Islamic Republic got into power, it's only been problems. It's only, yeah, yeah, it's only been problems, killing, massacre, man. And, and no freedom. Soon after the revolution in uh, about the first decade of 80s, uh, people realized that what's, what's going on, because they were after a revolution. So they feel that power, if we change the, the last regime, we may be able to amend this, the next regime as well. Are, are you allowed to be to pick your religion, like if I wanted to be a Christian, am I allowed to be a Christian and practice Christianity in, in Iran? In words, yes, about the society, like people will definitely accept that. Iran was a free country of religion thousand years ago since the King Darius. Uh, but about having activities, no. no so, way. so if someone try, said, you know, I want to convert and be a Christian and tell my other friends to be a Christian, would, would the Islamic Republic of Iran allow that or throw them in jail? By the rule of Sharia, definitely no. Because not, not only jail, man, it, it could even become an execution if he's a Muslim and he wants to convert to, to some other religion. And why? Well, they believe it's it's what says in Quran and by Allah or something. But but yes, it's it's a ruling of Islam. So for for a person to become Muslim, there is no restriction. But to get off Islam is definitely a death toll. Okay. So this flag, that's the old flag of, uh, of Persia. That, that's, the old that's the old, not the new one. The new one is is uh, is the name of Allah in it. So. Okay. And this is the old one. This this, this flag uh, as old as six. Six centuries, actually, the, in 15 or 16th century, that the countries were able to to make a flag or a symbol of the country. So you're sending a message right now that you want Iran to go back to the way it used to be, and Persia to be Persia, opposed to not, not to go back. It's basically like the way that Ayatollah started to say we are against the people, and this is the symbol to say we are against this government, and we we want our our nationality to be safe and secure. Well, I want to share with you a, a historical fact. Uh, king Xerxes, which is a, a, a Persian king many years ago, in the Bible there's a lady named Esther. Yes. And um, she uh, was, a, was a Jew. Yes. And she believed in the one true living God. And that story was very important because she was married to the Persian king. The Persian king, yes. And uh, the Bible says that many of the Persians became Jews because of Esther. And, uh, yes. and they believed in the God of the Bible. Yes. And the God of the Bible talked about a person named Jesus who was to come to be the Messiah, the Messiah, exactly. who would be the savior of the world. And he died, was buried, and rose again for every Persian and every person in the world. Do you, do you accept that? It's all stories, not, not much, to be honest. Because the Bible says there's coming someone who's from, he's going to be called the Lion of the tribe of Judah. 
and I noticed that you have a lion, and he's going to be the king yeah, yeah. of all kings. I noticed you have a crown, and it says, uh, when the son of righteousness with healing in his wings will rise up. Yeah. All of those symbols are in your flag, and so I wonder whether long ago, the people of Persia who believed in the God of the Bible, they were telling everybody that Jesus, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the son with healing in his wings, will be king of kings, will come and liberate the people of Persia. It could be that way, perhaps, but uh, that symbol is actually the symbol of uh, a great fortune right. to be the sun and lion, you know, in, in back, uh, back in old time, in, in star signs and fortune tellers, basically. Wow. Scorpion in the moon is like the, the sign of unfortunate time. But that one is a sign of a great time, you know, a wealth and happiness for the people. So okay. that, that, that's about it. Well, well, thank you so much. Okay, all, all the best. All the best. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's go, let's go.